Hey everybody, this is Wendy at The Broken Needle and today is part 9 of our series on quilting with rulers. If you've missed any of the other videos, you can check them out right here on our YouTube channel. Today I'm going to play with the 6 inch spiral. First I want to put a couple of pieces of stable tape on the back to prevent sliding. For this demo, I've marked a 6 by 12 rectangle and put a line right down the center. When we get to the machine, we're going to take this hook and put it behind the ruler foot. Then we'll align this first line with this corner. See, I'm hooking this right behind the ruler foot. And I'm aligning this line, the first one, right here in the corner. Notice we're starting in the center and we're sewing along towards the left keeping slight pressure up against the ruler foot. Here we go, down towards the left. Now, without moving the ruler, we're going to travel backwards, right where we came. Travel back on the line, towards the center. Now we're going to use the second line. Turn the ruler in towards the center and line up the second line onto the stitches that you just made. We're going to do the same thing we did before and travel down towards the left. And now we're going to go backwards again, back towards the center. The pattern is that simple. Sew down, sew backwards, move the ruler down, sew down, sew backwards, and move the ruler down. These rulers are so simple to use, you can sew at any angle. If you'd like to sew up and down versus side to side, you can do that too. Here's a close up. For this pattern, you do the exact same thing on the opposite end of your rectangle. Down and backwards, down and backwards. Ta-da! Pretty cool, huh? 